Uh, I greet you today in the name of Jesus Christ. This afternoon, I just want to do a short presentation about the reality. Uh, I will just entitle my presentation Death, Judgment Day, Heaven or Hell. I will repeat again. Death, Judgment Day, Heaven or Hell. Listen to this Revelation chapter 20, verse 12. I will read. I saw the dead, great and small, standing before God, and the books were opened, including the book of life, and the dead were judged according to the things written in the books, each according to the deeds he had done. I will repeat, but this time I will use another version. I was using the New International Version. I will use the King James Version. Revelation 20 verse 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Amen. I want to ask you a question. Do you know that one day you are going to die. I will repeat the question. Do you know that one day you are going to die? You can say, oh, Mr. Preacher, you want to intimidate me so that I can panic. Thank God if you panicked, because that is exactly what I want you to do. Where are you going to go if you die? We see here in Revelation chapter 20 verse 12, the Bible says, I saw the dead stand before God, great and small, young and old, black and white, educated and not educated. Every man one day is going to stand before God. What happened? Let us read again. Verse 12. I'll read again so that you understand. Listen to this. And the books were opened. Did you know that on judgment day, there is not one book which is going to be opened? I've heard many people say, is your name in the book of life? As if there's only one book. There are many books which are going to be opened on the judgment day. So now when it comes to this issue of books, this is a series which will need attention on its own. We will be dealing with the books from Genesis to Revelation. So now when we talk of judgment day, it's not only one book which is going to be opened. Let me read again for evidence. Revelation 20 verse 12. Listen to this. And this is part A, B, C. This is part D of Revelation 12. 20 verse 12. And the books were opened and another book was opened which is the book of life. So besides the book of life there are other books. There are people who teach that, oh, no one can lose their salvation. Once saved, always saved. You can't lose your salvation because God is powerful. He will not allow you to backslide. Can I show you something concerning books? Exodus chapter 32. We are talking of books which is going to be a series which I am going to introduce, which has got only the title of books, 
Genesis to Revelation, we will be dealing with the books. Listen to this. Exodus chapter 32. Exodus chapter 32. Verse 30. Can someone read for us so that I can read also? Read for us. 32 verse 30. Read for us there. Read verse 30 for us. Read for us the two, my brother. And it came to pass on the morrow that Moses said unto the people, You have sinned a great sin, and now I will go up unto the Lord. Free adventure, I shall make an atonement for your sin. Verse 31. And Moses returned unto the Lord and said, Oh, this people have sinned a great sin, and have made them gods of gold. Verse 32. Yet now, if thou wilt forgive their sin, and if not, blot me, I pray, out of thy book which thou hast written. Okay. Exodus chapter 32, verse 30, I'll read. And it came to pass on the morrow that Moses said to the people, You have sinned a great sin. And now I will go up to the Lord. Pay adventure. I shall make an atonement for your sin. And Moses returned to the Lord and said, Oh, these people have sinned a great sin and have made them gods of gold. Yet now, if you will forgive their sin, and if not, blot me, I pray you, out of your book which you have written. Here is a preacher. He goes to God, he says, God, your people, the Israelites, have sinned greatly, vastly, a great sin. He says, because of their sin, God, blot my name from the book which you have written. So do you see that there is a book which God wrote according to Exodus chapter 32, verse 30 and 31. So now look at what happens in verse 33. A thing which proves that you can lose your salvation. Let us read. Exodus chapter 32, verse 33. And the Lord said to Moses, Moses, whoever has sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. Is it possible for a man's name to be blotted out of the book of life? Yes, it's possible. Why? Because of sin. These were the children of Israel. They had left Egypt they were headed for the promised land, but they were living in sin. And because of that, God blotted some of their names. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10. We are talking about the book of life. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1. I'll read the new the King James Version and the Living Bible, two versions. Moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud, 
and all passed through the sea, and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and did each all the and did all eat the same spiritual meat, and drank the same spiritual drink, for they drank from that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. But with many of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. For with most of them, their names were blotted from the book of life. Why? Because of sin. Is it true that people's names were written out, were taken out because of sin? Yes. Exodus chapter 32, verse 31, 32, 33, evidence is there enough to show us that the people who sinned, God said, I am going to blot them personally. So you tell me, ah, you cannot lose your salvation. You cannot lose your salvation. It's impossible to live your one saved, always saved. That's not the case. Let's continue on 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. Or verse 6. Now these things were, our, were written. Oh, now these things were our examples to the intent we should not last after evil things as they also lasted. Neither be ye idolaters as were some of them as it is written the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Do you see that more than 20,000 people were blotted from the book of life one day? Why? Because of fornication, because of adultery, because of unbelief, because of tempting God. So you can backslide and your name can be blotted out of the book of life. Revelation chapter 20, chapter 22. Let's go, the last book. Revelation chapter 22, the last book of the Bible. Revelation chapter 20, 22, verse 18. Revelation chapter 22, verse 18. For I testify to every man that he is the words of the prophets of this book. If any man shall add to these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life. So do you see that as a Christian you have a part in the book of life and your part can be taken away because you added to the word of God. What are we talking about? We are talking about being consistent to persist in the word of God. What am I talking about? Revelation chapter 3 verse 5. Let's go. Revelation chapter 3 verse 5. What we are talking about. Listen to this. 3 5. He that overcomes the same shall be clothed in white raiment and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels who is 
the one Jesus is going to confess before his father. The one who overcomes. The one who is going to finish the race. Do you know Paul said Christianity is a race? He said, let us what? Run the race which is set before us. Do you win a race when you have started 5 meters and it's 5,000 meters and after 5 meters of running, you say, I have won because I was running fast. Do you do that? You finish the course. That is the reason why Paul said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race and I have kept the faith. Why? You don't get a prize in a race if you don't finish. You will see in Revelation chapter 3, verse 5, where it says, He who overcomes is going to be dressed in what? In white. And his name is not going to be blotted out of the book of life. Why? Exodus 32. There are people whose, name, whose names were blotted out of the book of life. Why? Because they sinned. Is this complicated? No, it's not complicated. Simple and straightforward. And Moses even said, God, I wish I can even atone for their sin. God said, Moses, it doesn't work that way. If a man has sinned, I will deal with them on their own. In Shona, they say, umwe no umwe acha no mira ne zake kudenda. You know what that means? Every man before God is going to stand on their own. You are going to answer for yourself. Your mother, your father, your brother, your pastor, your pope, or whoever it is, will not talk for you on judgment day. It will be you and God. What are we talking about? We are talking about the book of life. Is your name written in the book of life? Are you born again? Daniel chapter 9. The book of Daniel chapter 9. The book of Daniel chapter 9. Daniel chapter 9. Daniel chapter 9 Verse 7 O Lord Righteousness Belongs to you But unto us Confusion Of faces As at this day to the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and to all Israel that are near, and that are far off, through all the countries whither thou hast driven them, because of their trespass, that they trespassed against you. O Lord, belongs confusion of face to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against you. Verse 10. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. So do you see that during the days of Daniel, the children of Israel sinned and they were taken to captivity under Nebuchadnezzar. And they were oppressed because of sin. The children 
of God. Why? Daniel says, because we have rebelled against you. So when you rebel against God, you are going to or be oppressed by sin, by the enemy and the devil. Do you know something about the Old Testament? Nowhere do you see in the Old Testament where any person dealt with the devil. They dealt with their enemies. Why were they dealing with their enemies? Because no one in the Old Testament knew that there is something which is called the devil. Show me a verse in the Old Testament where people were fighting against the devil. The people of God were fighting against the, the enemies of God who were Amalekites, Moabites, Perizzites, Ammonites, all the, 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 the inhabitants of where? Of Persia, which is present there, what? Iraq or Iran. So the enemies of the people of God in the Old Testament, they were not fighting with the devil as in the New Testament where God, Jesus says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities and against the rulers of the darkness of this world. So in the Old Testament, no one knew that there is something which is called the devil. They knew that we are dealing with our enemies. So why? Daniel says, God, we have rebelled against your word. And our rulers have taken us out of your will. And because of that, we are oppressed. We are talking about the book of life. Is your name written in the book of life? I started my sermon, I said heaven. I said death, judgment day, heaven or hell. If you drop dead today, where are you going? Today you die today. You know, the greatest dreading thing I fear is to think of where I will go when I die. I don't take that matter lightly. The fact that when I die, where am I going to go? That's the most serious issue in my life. Where I will go when I die. Are you asking the same question? Preacher, pray for me. I don't know where I am going to die. Whether you are a child as you are listening, we saw in Revelation 20, verse 13, 12, verse 12 and 13, it says, I saw who? The dead, great and small, stand before God. We are all going to stand before God. And books were opened, not one book, many. And another book, the book of life was opened. And whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire, which is the second death. We are all going to die the first death. Where you will die maybe in a plane crash. Where you will die maybe you will be shot. Where you will die whether you will be bewitched. Where you will die whether you are going to die in a car accident. Where you die maybe of cancer. Where you die maybe of asthma. Where you die of anything. But the bottom line is, are you going to repent? Is your name written in the book of life? I want to pray for you and I want to pray with you a prayer of salvation. Let us pray. We say, Dear Father in heaven, Dear Father in heaven, this afternoon or this evening or this morning, whatever time it is where you are listening, I come to you my dear Father, I admit that I am a sinner and I believe that if I die in sin, I am going to hell. Father, I want to repent. Let Jesus Christ come into my life. Dear Jesus, the Son of the living God, the one and true God, the God of heaven, come into my life and save me Jesus make me a new creation 
I cannot save myself. I have been living in sin, in fornication, in adultery, in worshipping idols, in worshipping music, football, and all the things of this world which come to nothing. But today, I want to repent, to believe in the true God of heaven. Father, forgive me and make me a new creation. I come with all my heart in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. Congratulations, you gave your life to Christ today. You are a new creation. You are not going to follow after drugs. You are not going to follow after guns. You are not going to follow after witchcraft or after false prophets. You are going to follow the living God. Thank you.